Hello YouTube and welcome to another Aruba Switches tutorial. So in this video we're gonna talk about the PGP or Border Gateway Protocol. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you may know BGP or Border Gateway Protocol is the protocol that runs on the internet. Okay, So BGP actually is a set of rules that determine the best network routes for data transmission on the internet okay so the internet consists of thousands of private public corporate and government networks links together through standardized protocols devices and communication technologies okay so for example when you open your browser and you browse the internet data travels across multiple network before reaching the destination so the responsibility of the pgp is to look at all the available paths that data could travel and select the best route okay so it's actually a big subject but here we're gonna just uh, tackle just the basic configuration in our aruba routers so as you can see in this simple topology here, we have actually two PCs and our goal is to ping the PC2 from PC1. And of course we'll be actually configuring BGP between these two Aruba routers, okay? So let's begin. So as you can see here, I'm on PC1. So let me show you the IP address. So here I configured IP address of PC1 as 10.2251.20.2/24, and of course I have configured as its gateway the interface of the first router, which is that 20 that one, okay, on interface 111, okay. And as you can see here, our two routers are on different autonomous systems, okay. So normally, this is, for example, on the left side, this is the autonomous system of an I internet service provider, and on the left side, another actually provider or internet service provider, which has a different autonomous system, okay? So let's go to router one to configure BGP. So as you will see, the configuration is pretty simple so first thing first let me show you the IP addresses of the interfaces here that we have for router 1 so I will execute the command show IP interface brief just to show the IP address of each interface okay so as you can see here I assigned it as I told you for the interface 111 which is the gateway of PC1 that one is that one Okay. And on the interface 112, I assigned IP address 192.168.1.1. So normally this is actually a public IP address, but here for simplicity, I have assigned it actually a private IP address. Okay, so our first goal is to configure BGP on this first router. So here I'm on the configuration mode. So in order to configure PGP, it's pretty simple. You enter the command router. So as we have seen on OSPF, but this time it's between different autonomous system because OSPF runs on the same autonomous system, but here we have different autonomous system, okay? So the command is pretty simple, router, BGP. And here we have to enter the autonomous system id so as you can see on the topology for this first router is 64300 okay here we go and after that i have to enter the ip address of our neighbor router which is in this case uh, router 2 so i will enter the command neighbor then the ip address of this second router which is in this case 192.168.1.2 okay then of course the remote autonomous system 
so I will enter this command remote IS for autonomous system and of course here I have to enter the other autonomous system which is in this case 64,500 okay here we go so now all I have to do actually we have uh, everything now you can see that BGP is configured on this router but as I told you our goal is to advertise this network here to this router too in order to have a route for PC2 to actually reach PC1 and vice versa so first of all let me inject this IP address here or this network actually in order to advertise it to a router 2 so in order to do that you have to go to the address family command so I will enter here address family APV4 because here we are injecting APV4 subnet so APV4 and it's a unicast okay. unicast here we go then here with the command network we inject our network so here our network is 10 dot uh, 251.20.0 slash 24 so now everything is done in order to configure router 1 okay and I will show you just shortly the commands to verify that okay so now we have finished the configuration on this router 1 so let's go to router 2 and do the same but in the opposite side okay so as I told you in order to configure BGP router BGP then you have to enter your autonomous system 64 500 here we go and now I will enter the IP address of our neighbor router which is in this case 182.168.1.1 and also the remote IS or autonomous system which is in this case that would be 64,300 okay we are done all we have to do now is, is to inject this uh, network here 172.16.1.0 and we'll do that going to the address family it's IPv4 subnet and it's unicast then with the network command I will inject my network here is 172.16.1.0/24 so we are done here injecting our networks so let me return back to our uh, router one and show you a couple of troubleshooting commands to verify that everything is working okay so I'm back again on router one so the first command that we can execute in order to show if pgp actually is running is show pgp we do all then summary here we go so here we have a couple of things we have here some pgp summary we have our local is autonomous system which is indeed 64,300 okay we have our router identifier which is IP address of uh, the interface 112 okay and here we have a couple of parameters but here you can see that uh, the unicast address family didn't show IP44 didn't show again okay or didn't show yet another command that you can execute in order to troubleshoot that is IPv4 or show BGP IPv4 unicast 
this actually will show us a very important uh, thing is the advertised or the injected network so here we have some keys or codes and here you can see my network that I have injected so which is 10.20 or 251.20.0 slash 24 okay and this asterisk here means it's a valid path and of course I have only one which is the best one okay so let's go actually uh, on the other router and execute the same command show bgp apv4 unicast and hopefully we will see that uh, actually I have the other network which is 172.16.1.0 okay So let's return back to our router one and execute the command show bgp all which also gave us uh, some information about our BGP protocol okay and if I do the command show IP route in order to see if any other route has been added to our table here you can see that we didn't get actually the this network here I have no reachability to this network here 172.16.1.0 so we have to wait a little bit to let the protocol do its work in order actually to get actually this uh, network here okay okay so as you have, you have seen here i have no route to this network here so maybe I did a mistake so let me show you the config once again to make sure everything is okay so in order to see actually the bgp config you execute command show run bgp here we go here you can see that actually I forget one very important thing is that we have to activate the address family for our neighbor so here there is no command that show the activation of this address family to our neighbor router so let me correct that so i will go to uh, once again to router i will just copy and paste command here here we go so i will go to the address family and here the command that i actually i forget is i have to activate others family for our neighbor router so in order to do that we're gonna enter the command neighbor then the ip address of our neighbor which is in this case 192.168.1.1.2 okay and we type activate so this is the command that i have forgotten okay so let's do the same on router 2 i'll do the same so let me show you the config show run so this is the pgp config and i will enter or i have actually to activate also the address family for our the other neighbor so neighbor then the ip address which is 192.168.1.1 then activate here we go and so now if i return back to our router one and if i execute the command show pgp all summary hopefully now in the address family you can see our neighbor router which 
has the IP address 192.168.1.2 okay and state here as you can see is established okay so actually we have forgotten to activate the address family for our neighbor so now we have everything is working so the two router can see each other so let's do the same on router 2 show pgp all summary and hopefully you can also get our neighbors agency C and state is established okay so now if I return to router 1 and if I execute show IP route to see our routing table hopefully now we have a route to the other network which is 172.16.1.0 in this line here and as you can see here the origin and the type is B slash E so B is for PGP and E is external PGP okay so our router here one has learned the path from the other router okay and the next hop is of course our second router here so let's do the same on router 2 show IP route and hopefully it will have the route for the other network which is 10.251.20.0 and the next hop of course it will be uh, the first router and of course the origin and type is external PGP so all the routers now have exchanged the route to reach the other networks okay so as you can see it's more more uh, details about this uh, BGP protocol but it's a very important protocol because it's run on the internet so now if I go to my first router and ping the IP address of the second PC hopefully I will get you can reach it and here we go you can see it, they can ping each other and now router 1 or router 2 it can ping the other network because actually BGP allows that okay so that was just a brief uh, video to show you how to configure actually PGP on Aruba routers as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.